Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and welcome to your somewhat daily live commentaries. I'm sorry that I kind of took a break from these, but after streaming and then doing a weapon guide, my voice, I was starting to lose it. And I didn't want to lose the voice, so I decided to kind of put these on hold until I felt comfortable enough to come back and do them. And now I feel comfortable coming back and doing them. My voice is working out perfectly, I don't feel like I'm going to lose it. So now I can talk at you guys for a 5-10 minutes straight, just about whatever's going on. So, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Call of Duty, and I just feel like playing a little Call of Duty. I just feel like going in and shooting things. Nothing really too out of the ordinary, no weird loadouts today. I'm just using a vector with a suppressor, extended clip, and quick draw handle thanks to the primary gunfighter wildcard. And then of course I have Ghost, Fast Hands, Tactical Mask, Combat Axe, and a Concussion Grenade. Pretty standard, like, fast-paced kind of Slayer uh, setup, so we're just going to jump into some Team Deathmatch, because look at these playlists, 29 people, 8 people, 31, 293 at least, and kill confirmed. It's pretty much Team Deathmatch is the only thing you can really play, unfortunately, at least in the core setup. So we're going to play some Team Deathmatch, and I'll just see you when the match begins. All right, here we are on a here we are on Express, a really good close quarters map for this weapon. This will turn out pretty good, I feel. I feel like this is gonna go pretty well. Okay, yeah, it's gonna go pretty well. I got that feeling. I got it. Woohoo! Okay, I lost the feeling. I lost it already. But yeah, this is a pretty good map for this weapon. I really love the Vector. It is really, it's one of my favorite guns. Okay, I say that a lot that a lot of the weapons in this game, it's, it's one of my favorite guns, but I mean, there are a lot of guns, where'd that guy go? There are a lot of guns, there you are, there's a lot of guns in this game that I really, really like quite a bit, there's quite a few of them that I really do think are really, really fun to use, really entertaining weapons, and this is one of them because I like really fast, really, well, really fast and agile weapons, so something like this that is small, fires fast, and actually goes good with a suppressor, is a weapon that I really enjoy using really really enjoy using and it's one that I also put extended clip on over fast mags just because it's a faster firing weapon and that's kind of how I differentiate the two on how I'm going to use either fast mags or extended clip is based on how fast the weapon fires because a there's a guy over here hold on stand up oh he didn't stand up into the axe um hello Extended mags is much- I'm gonna probably just end up calling it extended mags. Extended mags is much better, in my opinion, for a weapon that fires much faster, like the Vector, as opposed to a weapon that fires much slower, like the PDW, because a faster firing weapon will empty its magazine much quicker. So, having that extra ammo in your magazine can be really helpful for sustaining your fire over time. And it can be really good for, like, if I miss, like, half my clip like this, or half my magazine, I apologize. I'm already picking up bad habits from it. If I miss half my magazine like I am here, then I'm going to have issues because I'm going to have to stop and reload because my magazine is going to empty much quicker than it would if I have extended mags on. But with a slower firing weapon, that's not such a big deal. With a slower firing weapon, you can hold the trigger much longer and still have ammo left in your magazine to finish off whoever you're fighting. So I really use that to differentiate it because a faster reload on a slower firing weapon is much more beneficial than a faster reload on a faster firing weapon, at least in my head. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well because it's kind of hard to explain that kind of kind of stuff sometimes while you're live commentating and trying to play a game at the same time. But I hope you understand my meaning. I hope you know what I'm trying to say. Is that on a faster firing weapon, I prefer extended magazines, and on a slower firing weapon, I prefer fast mags. That's pretty much how I differentiate everything. No hit markers. Let me pick up that pistol so I have a good backup. It's weird. I have fast hands, but I have no backup. Usually, I don't take a secondary, and I make it a point to pick up a secondary because I prefer to have primary gunfighter over a secondary weapon. But, um, yeah, I haven't, I've been neglecting that. But at least I got my care package. So some good came out. So let's call in the UAV, see if there's anybody nearby. Looks like they're all kind of that way. So then we're also going to call that in right there, and it takes a weird bounce. And I'll let my team spawn here and kind of defend me a little bit from the other people. Ooh, a double kill with the Hunter Killer. That's always nice to get. Too bad I don't have Engineer. I usually run Engineer for this kind of stuff. It's my death machine. I hate that. When people just walk up like, here, let me take your care package from you. I'm only right in front of you. 
I hated that in the first Black Ops. I don't remember if it happens in Black Ops 2. You can't re-roll the package if someone's trying to take it. Because I always ran a hardline in the first Black Ops, and I would always try to re-roll my package almost, all, almost every single time that I got one. And someone would always try to take it as soon as it came in, then I couldn't re-roll. It's like, it's a UAV. I could re-roll it and maybe get dogs or, you know, some kind of nice airstrike or a death machine. And you're sitting here trying to take it from me, so I can't re-roll it. And I'm forced to take the, either take the UAV or let you have the UAV. You know, it's... I don't know. I just don't like when people do that. I think it's a little too easy to take this stuff from people. Just die. I got both of them. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Pull the death machine back out. What is with my live comms and getting these power weapons when I play? What, last time I got a war machine and I pretty much wasted it. But at least there's no flak jacket or stuff to defend you from this thing. I can just turn a corner and unload. Just like that. And just walk very slowly at the staircase hoping somebody will pop- Aww. Hoping somebody would pop their head up. Let's just camp here for a second while I think about where I want to go. I think I'll go back this way. Woohoo. Okay. I'll let him go out and see if he draws any fire, any attention. There's one guy back over that way, but I'm not too concerned with him. Aw, aw. Oh, well, I still have 73 rounds left in this thing. That's plenty. Not too concerned about it. Because I can still do stuff like, aw, man. Didn't get him. At least I got him. That's what matters. 21 rounds left. There's one guy up here, and he was ready for me. I heard him reload, but he was it was too it was too quick. I should have just waited there because he was coming towards the door. If I'd waited, I would have had him. But you know, when you have a death machine, you kind of just want to run around and just shoot everything. You don't really. Why did he not die? I got like three hits on him. I don't know. You just, you don't want to sit back and wait with the death machine. I don't know. I'm, I'm a really aggressive player in COD. That's why my KDs aren't like super amazing awesome. Because I just like to run and gun. I don't care if I get one kill and then die. I really like being able to move really fast and just keep moving around the map. That's how I like to play the game. And I, I don't care. I have fun when I do it. I'm not caring about being competitive. That's not why I play COD. COD is my relax and just play for fun shooter. It is not my competitive shooter by any stretch of the imagination. But I still had a pretty good match. A 2.0 a two KD. And I actually got a lower score than that guy. Oh, he had a... How did he get a higher score when he had less kills, more deaths, and the same amount of assists as I did? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but I I still did pretty well. Our whole team was pretty high scoring, so... I hope you enjoyed it. That's all I'm doing for today. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.